Hey guys, Coach Gavin Leone here. We're going to go over another exercise that you can kind of do at home if you're limited on deadlift uh, variations. If you, maybe you can't touch the floor. So there's a couple of things that you could do. Um, like a Romanian deadlift for higher reps is going to be really, really important. So basically a Romanian deadlift is going to be a pure hinge as opposed to a stiff leg deadlift, which tr traditionally you would do all the way down to the floor. So when we work on a hip hinge, we want to have maximal hip range of motion, minimal knee range of motion. So Biggest mistake I see is actually people are too stiff-legged deadlift when doing a Romanian deadlift. So we want to have a soft bend in the knees, and then from there, it's just going to be a pure hinge. Once the hips stop moving, you stop moving. So once I'm here, now I'm just bending my back. So get the hips on a full stretch, soft knees, maximal hip bend, and then fire through. You can play with the tempo, play with the eccentric, play with pausing. So the first rep, you're going to do normal. And I like to think about sliding the bar, bar down my thighs and pushing my butt toward the back wall. So for me, that's about it. If I go any lower, you'll watch hips, 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 back, 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 back. And there's a time and a place for a stiff leg, but that's not what we're doing. So RDL is a pure hinge, Romanian deadlift. So we're going to come here, and I also want to make sure that my ribs and pelvis are stacked. I don't want to overextend too much of the top, just squeeze the glutes. So the hips come back like a pendulum on a clock, hips come forward, hips come back, hips come forward. So these are going to be typically done for higher reps, straps are okay here. That's a great way, that's how you can do a Romanian deadlift, great way to train your deadlift if you're limited on weight, equipment, and you want to save your floor.